<laughs> Hello, everybody. Look at all Hello, these waving everyone. hands. Hello, everybody. We are very glad to see you. Hello, future bestsellers and writing friends and everybody who is here today. We are super excited. I am particularly like hyper today. I'm very excited because uh, I'm going to the first writers conference that I have been to in approximately one million years, and I am like, ah! yay. so yay! I know, right? So we're going to talk about writers conferences today. Before we get to that, let's go around and do our introductions. I think we'll probably have to stay like speedy today uh, because we have so many of us. We have a full house today, which is kind of awesome. So I'm going to start with Tamara because it's been a while since she's been on with us and I'm very excited to have you today. So I am very excited to be here. Welcome. So tell the fine people about you and your wonderful channel. Hello, everyone. My name is Tamara Woods. I'm a cozy mystery author. I also write some spicy stuff on the side. And um, I do streams on Thursdays at 1 p.m. And today, I don't know what I'm going to be writing on. Something. I'm going to be writing on something. Something. That's good. Very good. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here today. Amy, why don't you introduce yourself to the fine people? Hello, everyone. I am Amy Awesome Bunny. I'm an SEO consultant who doesn't have a website, but I am working on my social media. Um, th that's a fun joke amongst everyone on the screen, pretty much. If, I, if I remind you now, can I mark it off for Friday? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go with no, just to be oh, difficult. So you, you, you get two reminders this week. That's okay. amazing. You should make a website, I appreciate Amy. it. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the force is strong with Carol. <laughs> um, but yeah, today I'm going to be working on a social media campaign for one of my uh, clients. Cool. Um, awesome. There's an event coming up and I'm doing social media for them. Cool. All right. That's fantastic. Michelle, welcome. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? Great. Um, I, I don't even know what I'm going to be working on today. I woke up to 60 degree weather. Fall has arrived in Texas, and I'm just like so deliriously happy that I don't even know like what I'm doing. With <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's that cooler in so Texas funny. than it is in West Virginia. That's weird. Yeah, that's so nice. That that is kind of crazy. I know my my mom who lives in Denver was saying the same thing yesterday. Like that had she's like it's freezing. I went out to the patio. It's only going to be like 50 degrees today. Like that's the high. It gotten down to like low like 40 or something and she was just like beside herself she's all excited the trees and all that other stuff so yeah well i'm happy for you for fall it's still like it's actually my favorite time of year in florida because it's like 80 degrees so it's not too hot not crazy humid you can be outside it's really nice but still like warm enough to go to the beach <laughs> story detective hello hey very glad to see you and your manly environment there with the big sword <laughs> hanging over your head. <laughs> Tell us all about you. Well, my channel is The Story Detective, where I take all things story-oriented, put it under a Sherlockian microscope, and break down the craft for your craft journey and hopefully make it more easy. Uh, my project today is going to be working on editing a Sherlockian manuscript, actually, so looking forward to getting started on that. Yeah. Yay! Sako, thank you for being here today. What are you going to be working on? And please tell us about your channel. Howdy, neighbors. I'm Sako Toomey, also known as Cass Foyt. I write horror, and I'm a witch, and I'm a graphic designer, and sometimes I combine those three things. In fact, today I'm going to be working on a presentation that I am giving to my husband's class. Uh, he's a professor and uh, they are working on graphic novel covers. So I'm giving a presentation on how I do graphic novel covers and what what sucks and what doesn't. So I'm re-familiarizing myself with everything novel covers. That's awesome. <laughs> That's very cool. Carol Brown, so glad you're here today. What are you going to be working on? And please tell the fine folks about you and your awesome channel. Uh, I am working on the same manuscript I've worked on since uh, World War began, Amy. <laughs> I tried. I really did. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm working on that. There is uh, a rite of passage scene that I am actually writing today because I realized that I needed to have it. So I outlined it yesterday and I'm going to write it today. And then if I finish that, I'm actually going to go through and make a to-do list because I've kind of reached the point in this manuscript where I need to start going through and finding continuity and where I need to like move things around and stuff like that. Um, my channel has cobwebs on it, but I will say that I actually sat down over the weekend and I started to make content ideas. So, like, Yay. but I know for a fact I'm going to have something come up uh, in October because Tamara's got her fun October uh, project that she's doing. And I said that I would definitely <laughs> be a part of that. What? I think, what? Is that the same thing I said I would be a part of Tamara, even though I didn't know what it was? Is that it or something different? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the last night Tamara had a pop up stream, and she was, and I, I was literally just like shutting down my computer before I went to go like get in the shower and go get in bed. And Tamara was like, "Oh, Lisa, I want to ask you if you want to do a thing." And I was like, "Yes, I want to do a thing." No idea what it is. I'm very excited to find out. Though. I like how you say yes to things you don't know anything about. Like, I need, I need this energy. If Tamara wants me to do a thing, I am doing a thing. I don't know what it is, but I know it'll be fun. So, and I figured she'd probably already gotten you to do the thing, and you know, you guys are some of my favorite people. This so, would be my uh, third year doing the thing, wouldn't it? I know. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Okay. Maybe I'll do something besides outlining this year. Oh, all right. Wow. So I'm Lisa Daly. This is my channel. I write rom-coms and nonfiction. And today I'm going to be working on a nonfiction book, which I'm very excited about. I think I'm going to get it finished by the end of the month. And we're going to say hi to everybody in the chat because we have a nice group today. Um, but you guys be thinking about this. Today, our topic, we're going to be talking about writing conferences and um whether or not you like are they a waste of time or are they just an excuse to go drink at the bar for four days and write it off on your taxes like i like that yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's Health definitely a perk <laughs> hindrance not worth it worth it so i'm interested to know what everybody thinks all right let's say hello to our friends and family in the chat jl is here hello congratulations you are first Ding, ding. Nice work. Lena's here. Hey, Lena. Good to see you today. Claude. We love you, Claude. I'm so glad you're here. Eva made it. Hey, Eva. Very nice to see you today. Good gracious. We've got a good group today. Hi, Sky. Yay, Sky. Very glad to see you. Jeannie Marcel is here. All right. Oh, she was saying Sky and Tamara were a lot of fun last night. I was only there for like I 15 minutes, but they were a lot of fun last night. Like, I was so tired when that the notification popped up but I was like oh I'll just go pop in a like and say hello and I stayed for like 15 minutes which I that was not my intention <laughs> I did also leave it running all night so you got oh, all that view, so you got all that view time <laughs> so that was good all right oh this is a good question it's so funny I actually just answered this question on another channel foggy fiction I think it was she is a, um, an aspiring author and she had asked a bunch of like nine questions to um, published authors and I answered them. One of them was, how many projects do you have in the drawer? Do you have in the drawer before you publish one? So JL. We're not ready to go around. How many of you have projects that you haven't finished? Do you ever revisit them? Are they permanently shelved? Why do you make those choices? Starting with you, Caro. Oh, wow. Way to put me in the spotlight, friend. Um, so give me one second, because I have uh, I have a to-do list. <sighs> ah, okay. <laughs> um, so there are some projects that I do have on here. So let me count what I'm working on right now. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got ten. <laughs> ten projects. Um, but the good news is that um, some of the projects um, are actually finished. I'm just running into like technical issues with like um, Amazon right now. So that's why I haven't pushed forward with them. Okay. Um, a couple of other projects, for example, like my Ghost Walker Chronicles, I haven't pushed forward with that. And that's because I'm having issues with my publisher. And so um, that's kind of on hold until I can get that resolved. And then um, what is the other thing that I'm having trouble with? Um, my uh, Bound and Gag series, which is my spicy pen name stuff, um, I have not dived back into that because, stop it, Lisa. <laughs> um, 
I have I have not dived back into that because I've had an extremely stressful year and it's really hard for me to write about love and spicy things when I'm stressed out out to 11 out of 10. So yeah, that that's my reasoning. But I actually I might have two things that come out soon. I don't know. Like, don't hold me to that right now. <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. Fingers crossed on that. Uh, so in other about- words, Kara revisits everything all the time. Yeah. yeah. So, nothing, so nothing fully abandoned though. Then, that, like, I think this is. Uh, these are good questions. Um, so everything that you have on your list is in some sort of process. It might be on hold, but you're not just dumping it. Right? Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I haven't. I haven't dumped anything, and I think mostly it's because, like, when I have had something come out, somebody's like, "Oh, I like that." So I like. I remember like that one person. I was like, "They're waiting for me." Oh my god! <laughs> I have to do the book. <laughs> Tamara, you are up on this question. You have projects you haven't finished. <laughs> maybe one or two um yeah there's projects i haven't finished uh let's see um right now i'm looking at book covers that i have okay so this book i need to do a rewrite of so it was um murder to spare that's a cozy i launched it and then i realized that there was mistakes mistakes were made so i pulled it (laughs) and i need to rewrite it but that's something that's going to happen um and i have covers for four other books in that series um and out of those four two have been started all of them are going to be completed um i have two covers for the other cozy series one book is in process and the other one is definitely going to be completed. Um, Let me see. There was a story that I had started a while ago, but I ended up putting that up on Bella. I don't think that I have any stones that are unturned. I don't think I have any stories that are going to be left behind. That that's a, that's a good, you know, we should, that is, Hmm. it's interesting. And I think we'll probably have a, like a lot of that. So let's do this. So we get some sprints done. Ready? How many, raise your hand. How many of us have projects you haven't finished? Wow. It's like all of us. I know. (laughs) Do you ever revisit them? Yes. (laughs) Yes. Are they permanently shelved? Do you have any projects that you have permanently shelved? I do. Oh, okay. All right. So now let's get into the nitty gritty of that. So uh, Michelle, yeah. Why did you permanently shelve a project? Um, the one I'm thinking of is the very first book I ever wrote. It's the one that I queried and it never got an agent. And honestly, it's just that I'm not interested in it anymore. I wrote it like a decade ago. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just not what I'm, it's not, a, it, it served its purpose. Like I became right, you got the deal? writing it, but I'm not interested in it now. Okay. All right. How about you, Robert? Permanently same shelved. As, Why? Yeah, same as Michelle. Uh, the first one was a learning experience. Uh-huh. I was in the midst of doing comic books and I had so many different plots and subplots. It was like three novels crammed into one. Mm-hmm. There was no point to finishing it. The main storyline could potentially see some kind of air at some point if I wanted to develop it. And there is a novella that's also kind of shelves. I think when you're experimenting and learning and doing different genres like I do, you're always going to have experiments that don't work out exactly as you hope and put them aside. Mm-hmm. It's an idea, but you know, I think those two are definitely shelved permanently. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. I was thinking that I did not have any projects that I'd ever shelved. I do have one, but I never wrote it. I just <laughs> outlined it, but I did write a proposal for it. And my um, UK publisher loved the idea. But when I came back uh, from doing a tour over there, um, I'll just tell you what the idea was. It was very scandalous. It was a date. This is my second book. It would have been my second book. And it was a dating advice book. And I'd had this idea after watching, like, with my mother, I'd watched, like, a Sandra D movie that, like, like some movie from, like, 1960 or something that came on cable. And um, it was about this mother, like, her, Sandra D is, like, young. She's and her mother to her oh just treat him like a dog 
and like pet him and tell him no if he's bad and things like that. And I thought it would be kind of a funny idea to do like this sort of tongue in cheek book about called Good Boy, which is this idea about like how to use dog training techniques to make your partner behave himself. <laughs> and, and, and right. And it's basically just like positive and negative reinforcement, of course. But there were like some funny, like there are lots of funny dog crossovers with dating. And I thought it would be, I thought it'd be funny. My editor thought it would be funny. And I came back and it turns out that another author named Karen Salmonson essentially wrote the same book. Oh. And, I, and I was like, oh, I can't write it now. And it was, and the funny thing is it came out and it was this huge bestseller. So I go, okay, I have proof of concept. Like, like it was the, yeah. but also I had done an interview with her a couple years to that and she said I like it's the worst thing in the world for her to date because she'll always be the woman that wrote that dog book <laughs> and so, yeah. so that's my that is my shell project okay I never wrote it but I did outline it okay you guys let's say hi to everybody in the chat and then we're going to do some warm-ups and some sprints yes guys glad Judy had fun Jeannie has lots of projects she hasn't finished, mostly series. Used to try and come back to them. Now I'm focusing on one at a time to get the series done. That's smart. Very nice. Uh, Sky's got many unfinished projects. 2022 is about getting them done. Uh, dun -dun. I have more unfinished than finished. Some are shelved because whatever pulled me away, kept me away long enough that I can't write in the same voice I started in. Mm. Others got shelved because at some point I got bored. Currently, all my projects are shelved because of a move, hoping to get back before I lose the vibe of the story. That's the worst. That is the worst. I think that's what happened to me with the novel that I keep that I've like struggled with for so long, is that I have these big punks of time in between when I'm writing, and I then I feel like I have to go back and rewrite the other parts, which I've never had before. Hello, yes, Jay. Just keep uh, morphing. The longer you're away from it, the more it becomes something different. Right. But yeah. I also, I also think we kind of grow and change as writers, and sometimes stories yeah. don't interest us anymore. It doesn't right. fit within our criteria. Right. We outgrow them. You're exactly right on that. Uh -huh. JL says, yeah. Do you take a, keep a notebook or a list of potential stories or use it? I have like a file that I keep. Wait, wait, I have to be that person because we're almost 20 minutes in and we haven't started. Oh, primity. <laughs> okay, JL, we're coming back to you. We're coming back to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is why. I love you so. Okay, here we go. The our official timekeeper says you bitches need to get to work. <laughs> right? Okay, we're going to do our five minute. You're, and of course, I'm like, cut it off. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with our five minute warm up today. There will be no pep talk. We will be warming up. Get your documents open, get your water, get your fingers all stretched, and we will get started with. Uh, writing. So here is our exciting timer, and we are going to get started in three, two, I should wait for the countdown. Three, <laughs> two, one. Five minute sprint.
Okay, let's see. There we go. Fantastic. I can't right. believe that was five minutes. I blinked I and it was over. I know it went really, really fast today. It went super fast today. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Fantastic. How did everybody do? Let us know. Uh, how did you guys do? Amy, how'd you do? Um, I managed to blink. I think that might be all I actually got done. That's it. Um, That's it. I'm still in. Well, I guess I finished this one slide in this presentation. So I guess I got one thing done. Good. That's good. How about you, Robert? Um, I edited about a page and a half, which I guess is okay within the five minutes. That's great. So. All right. That's good. Wait, Michelle, I think I accidentally blocked. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I get all crazy with the button. <laughs> um, so how'd you do on the last one? Um, I picked what I'm going to work on and opened the document. <laughs> That's what I did. I think I got like 50 words written. It did, It was very fast. Uh, how about you, Tamara? I got 180 words. Five minutes, Brent. You're amazing. Very Aww. nice. Wow, that's fabulous. Sako, how did you do? I did pretty well. Um, I was writing some uh, notes for my presentation and got myself a drink and good you know all right nice caro you're gonna make me cry today how many did you get wait a minute oh wait did, did i forget you no we're gonna take a pool 500 words that's what i gather uh, <laughs> that's over ambitious sir it was only five minutes uh, <laughs> right no. 400 no, words. <laughs> no, 302. Oh my god. Uh, that's still pretty that's still pretty awesome. I think I like I said I'm not sure how many I got. Uh like probably 55 to 100. It's not very one, two, three, four, five, five sentences. So <laughs> All right. Okay. We had a I good was, I was gonna say three. Uh, <laughs> True, I know. Okay, so uh, let's see. JL had asked a good question. Do you keep a notebook or list of potential stories or use it to outline future stories or just keep ideas? That could I, be like the entire topic for today's stream. I like, know, seriously. I know. Okay, yeah. So I have a, I have a digital file. I also have a bunch of notebook, little notebooks. But um, but I keep I try and keep all that stuff digitally because later when I'm looking for it I don't want to be like where did I put that little notebook I want to just be able to search for the word. How about you guys? Notebook, Scrivener notebook. file. I've got a notebook for every project. Some lapped over into a second notebook. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I made the mistake uh -huh. of putting everything into That's Scrivener it. and then lost all my Scrivener files <gasps> in my, when I lost what? my hard drive. Oh, so I'm looking for new ways to do that. Google, Google Drive. Oh my gosh. Always yeah. keep a backup, everybody. Always keep a backup. There is nothing I, I kept a backup, but that hard drive died too. Oh my God. At the same time. That would kill me. That would absolutely kill me. It killed me. I, I'm I have dead. I have paid big money, like, and by big money, I mean, like, I paid, like, $1,600 for somebody to get, like, I, I remember the name of the company was, but it was basically, like, hard drive rescue kind of a thing, where they go in and they get everything recoverable off your hard drive, but it was an insane amount of money. I mean, it was a long time ago, so it's probably cheaper now, but, yeah, backup, backup, There's, there's backup. a lot cheaper way. Just get a, a SATA to USB drive plug your old hard um except the drive plug is it dead the new and you can clone it except yeah. the drive is oh, dead good. so that i can't i can't <laughs> pull from Doesn't the drive google have like that it's like sites.google.com or something like that and it's basically you can create a little uh like a story bible basically right that's pretty cool carol that's has me cool. on one that we were working on a while back that's cool very cool. I do, in fact, uh, have a video about that. But you do? Well, yes, yes. You'll have to mention it because that, yeah. to me, sounds like the Google way to facilitate the Scrivener thing. You can have files yeah. and files and lists and all that stuff, and sort of recreate your processes. 
right. in a digital way where you can keep it in the cloud. Right. Mm -hmm. Dropbox works with. Security. Yeah, Dropbox is good. Mm -hmm. The cloud. Yeah. But yeah, when that happened to my hard drive, it was before it was so easy to back up. Like it was a long time ago, and it was when you still had to like physically push a button to back your stuff up. It wasn't like now. Okay. Uh, Sky's got a three ring binder full of story ideas from before I have Scrivener. Someday I'll transfer everything over. Look who's here. It's CEO Savvy. We're so glad to see you today. The nickname thing would be very challenging because we have seven people. That would be the longest <laughs> thing. Don't tell her that. <laughs> but she's no, challenge accepted. She's up to the yeah, task. CEO can do it if anyone can. That's right. Ginny Noble's here. Hello. We're very glad to see you. Uh, JL says they had a mini tornado pick up their gazebo, deposited it in our pool. The gazebo was destroyed. My, I had to cut it up. Oh, my gosh. What? That's terrible. Holy smokes. Whoa. That sucks. That does. Yes. Full house. Cool gamers here. Oh, my God. How far am I? Behind the comments. Really far. You're, you're, yeah. you're pretty far. But oh, yeah, it's pretty far. So. All right. I'm going to, like, skip ahead. Okay, CEO Savvy says one of these days Lisa's gonna ask Carol questions. She'll just wheel out a whiteboard and pull out. Yes, that's true. No, no, I'm not <laughs> out a whiteboard. I'm just gonna screen share and I'll just have the screen presentation share. ready. You're, for you're, I was gonna say you're pre, you're gonna like a nice uh, PowerPoint or something. Uh, Wendy's here. Hello, Wendy. Hi, We're Wendy. very glad to see you. Definitely, everybody's like all yes. MM Ward is here. Hello, Hi, MM Ward. We're very glad to see you. Oh, hi. you know what? For once today, I actually put the video up like an hour ahead of time. I was very proud of myself, um, but I should try and do it earlier. Maybe two hours, actually. Yeah, we were ch there chatting the whole time. You didn't miss anything. <laughs> All right. Look who's here. Nihilus Geek is here. Hey, buddy. V very good job, JL says. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the answer. CEO Savvy, you freaking killed me. Lisa's book, a good boy to <laughs> Odin's Odin Revenge. Can I just say, like, oh, he heard me. Wait, can you guys see him? Oh, <laughs> Papa. I know, I know. He heard as soon as he heard the name of his book, he looked he put up. He's like, oh, don't He's read. Like, what? Is that me that you're talking about? I know, right? Okay, so Lena reread her chapter. Ginny Noble, open up Scrivener. Ooh, Nihilus Geek says your video on burnout in publishing was amazing. Mm -hmm. I have not seen that one yet, but we were talking about it this morning. We were talking about it this morning, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Sky finished designing another planner page for monthly tarot readers. Dana's here. Hey, Dana. We're very glad to see you. All right. Few we listened to a few paragraphs and got coffee. JL got 290 words. What? Very nice. Wendy found her music and got 68. Nice. Very nice. good job. Comp books and word with three backups. This is a this is a person who's lost their data before. I um yeah. I did analog for my outlines mm -hmm. and like thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> like I can I can at least start over like with my outlines. Hey doll. Doll's oh, here. We really do have a full house today. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. All right, Doll, I'm so glad you made it today. Very nice. JL wants to know, am I the only one who, here who hears a bird chirping? Is that you, Michelle? No. He heard, heard, oh, no, that's that, me. That could have been my cat. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, walking by. That's me, animal. yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I recently got two young parakeets to go with this, with the older parakeet that Sky gifted me when she moved away. And as you can tell... They still get very excited when I start talking, and, uh, <laughs> and I also could hear the guinea through my headphones, so oh. you probably heard that too. That yeah. is funny. Nihilus Geek, computer genius, saves every file into Dropbox. Very, very smart. There will take companies that take out actual parts of a dead drive and put them in a working one to recover the data. I think that's what they did with mine. But again, we tried was, to do that with my stuff. Years ago. And... Yeah, it didn't work. I know at that point you're like, if you're not backed up, you're like, I will pay or do anything to get this information back. Walter Jones is here. Hello, Walter. We are very, very glad to see you. 
So in honor of Dahl's return, I feel that we should do a 20-minute writing sprint because Ooh. after all, we are here to write today. So I was just gabbing about you and we did not have a chance to do a little um, welcome. Would you like to take us out for the 20-minute writing sprint? Or not. <laughs> All right. No? Am I am I the only one who can't hear doll? Okay. Oh. I can't hear you. There uh, you go. Yeah. Uh, Wi-Fi being a monster, but I'm here. Oh no. All right. So doll, do you wanna uh, do you wanna give us the pep talk or sure. yeah? Let's okay. do it before ah. the Wi-Fi decides to kill me again. That's a good point. All right, Wi-Fi. Uh, be nice. <laughs> now now people, we are getting ready for is this the first? Yes, first sprint. First sprint is ready to go, and we are ready to go because we are here together to get our words done. Are you ready? We're ready. Very
It would be so helpful if I unmuted myself. I randomly muted other people. So if it turns out you can't talk, wave your arms and I will, <laughs> and I will unmute you. Uh, good. Okay. How did everybody do on that one? Uh, am I here? Yeah, mm -hmm. you're here. Yay. <laughs> you were here. You're kind of here. I did well, pretty good. I finished the presentation. Now I'm moving on to the actual social media posts. Awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Anybody? I don't know how many, how many words I did. Let's just check. Hold the phone here. I've got it. What did I do? 333. So something to shoot for. Not bad. Like not terrible. Working on business plans. Good. Good, good, good. That's awesome. That is really cool. Michelle, how about you? Oh, I was just about to look. I wrote about 500 words. Yay! You. Nice! Very nice. Tamara, how about you? Um, I wrote, I think it was like 242, and then I was um, responding to some emails and tweets and stuff. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice job. Sako, how'd you do? I did great. Uh, 400 words into like... Um, commentary on my slides so that I stay on topic when I'm presenting. Ah, all right. Caro, how about you? I don't want to tell you. You'll make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. I'll just be supportive. Thank you. I got a um, thousand and a hundred and forty four words. Wow. Nice. We love you. That's so impressive. That's so I impressive. didn't agree to not make I, fun of her. I can do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say I know where you live, but I don't. I only know where your P.O. box is, so you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> but she might stand outside the mailbox. <laughs> Wendy got 219. Very, very nice job, Wendy. That is super, super awesome. Leaning up 300. Woohoo! Very good job. Very nice. Mint Ghost doing some edits today, getting a lot done. Yay. We're glad awesome to I, see you, Mint. I know. Very nice to see you. We're very glad about that. Okay. So before we started, before we um, answered those really awesome JL questions, which I always love. She always has like such great questions. Uh, we were talking about writing conferences. Because I love them. I am a conference junkie. Love, love, love them. And I want to know how everybody else feels about them. The reason we're talking about this today is because I'm going to the first conference that I've been to in a long time, the Novelist Inc. conference, which is pretty cool because those are like some serious people. Like they're all in this for the business, which mm. I kind of love. So thoughts? Jump in, anybody. Love them, hate them, think they're love great. Them. Love them. I'm, I'm afraid of them. I'm a massive, <laughs> I'm a massive introvert. So being surrounded by thousands of people like makes me want to like hide in the bathroom, and I have done that. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm with I'm with Carol. <laughs> what about be. online conferences though? They're not yeah. all I IRL, especially yeah, right now. I miss <laughs> the IRL fun. ones though. I like those ones because I can put up like a picture of like some puppies running or something. And I'm kind of like, it's fine. Everything's okay. There's not thousands of people watching me right now. So. Yes. <laughs> it's less stress if you're like actually presenting. Yes. Because you're just looking at your computer screen. So you're like, this is no big deal. <laughs> That's good. Oh, I don't even get the, uh, I didn't have the luxury of a computer in front of me when I was presenting. So really? uh, yeah, for panels and stuff. I well, No, I mean like virtual. Like, yeah. oh, virtually, like, you know right. how many people are watching, right? You can fool yourself if it's virtual, <laughs> right? That's true, right? You don't have a bunch of people like that. I don't, you guys, I know this is going to come as a surprise to you guys, but I'm a little bit of an extrovert, <laughs> so, so I, I, I have missed them so much, and I do think they're great. Like, I love the programming because I, I never have gone to a conference where I didn't learn something, 
But I also like all the social things where you get to hang out with other authors and meet new people, like meet other authors, which I really love and have met some really good friends over the years. So I had I had a fun I wasn't on the panel, but I went to one panel with like a whole bunch of like urban fantasy authors. Uh -huh. And um, I had you know, I have my tattoos. And so I walked in and they all saw my tattoos. Like, Hey, can you come closer so we can like look at your flesh? And I was like, Oh uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Not uh, awkward at all. No. Well, no, they knew what they were doing, but I was just kind of like, yeah, sure. Why not? We're all fucking nerds here. Yeah. We're all very true. Nerds, yeah. So Sky I loves conference. Oh, oh, sorry. I remember okay. some of the first um, conventions I went to when I started working for um, smaller companies and they sat me down and, front of all these other more established people. And I was also an introvert. I had no idea what to say. So I decided if people came up to me and asked questions, I would just give the answers that I hoped to get when I was starting out. And nobody really gave those answers. A few people did, but in general, you're moving along and you're not getting as much as you mm -hmm. hope to get. So I gave those answers and pretty soon I had a big line in front of me and the editor comes over and he goes, you must be doing something right. Everybody's lining up for you. So I, I think it's that simple. You just need to keep it whatever you feel is something that you would want. And people are mm -hmm. just people. You they know, are. They're all yeah. looking for something that can break in, suggesting a direction they can go in, get a book, uh, something they can look up. Always helpful. And yeah. mostly they were grateful for that. Yeah. So it really, really wasn't that scary once for I got sure. into it. Yeah, for sure. Well, I like, so I usually try to be on a panel. This is my first year at Novelist Inc. And so I had not pitched a panel early enough, but I am moderating a panel. And weirdly enough, I'm moderating the panel for this um, uh, coaching client of mine who is doing a present. She's the one like that had to do the book in 11 days mm -hmm. because she was doing a panel on this topic. And funnily enough, I am now, the which we just found out right after the book was uh, launched that I will be moderating her panel, which I find like beautiful and wonderful in a dorky kismet -y kind of way. You would know just the right questions to get the audience I started on, right? I know. Well, and the funny thing is she, this is not the first year she's given this panel. It's really popular. So um, yeah, so there are a bunch of people who've already taken it before and who are coming back again, which I find fascinating. So yeah, I, th I think the whole thing is cool. I'm so excited though, because I love like the little, I just, I've had such weird things happen to me at conferences over the years where you end up going to some party and then you meet somebody. So many kismet things that have happened. Uh, Sky said the same thing. I met so many awesome people at conferences. Sky, uh, Sky says, there's one in November I wish I could physically go to. I couldn't afford it this year. It's free to attend virtually, though, so I'll be doing that. Can't wait. Very, very nice. I'll be doing the virtual for that one, too. I, Which one um, is that? It's 20 books to 50K. Their oh, yeah, biggest yeah, conference. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually going to, I just saw on Facebook today, he's actually going to be at the Nick conference. So I will chase him down for y'all. If you have any questions, do it. Let me know. Yeah. You should see if he'll let you um, interview him interview for your him. channel. Yeah. I oh, might yeah. do that. Just, might just take be. your, just take your Lisa Lasso and be kind of like, I need you to do a thing for me. You know, nobody's going to tell you no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. But I, the funny thing about this conference though, is because, you know, Florida does not have a great reputation for, let's say, Everything? Uh, or everything. A lot of people have canceled. So I think it's going to end up being, for the people who are brave or stupid enough to go in person this year, I think it's going to be really intimate because on the little conference app, there's only like 90 people. There, so that's like a... Yeah. Um, yeah a, a couple of months ago, cool. I went to Imaginarium with Morgan Hazelwood. Uh -huh. um, nine hour drive out through the mountains, nine hours back. And um, it was, there were more authors than like con goers. Yeah. 
So really, it was just an excuse for us to like authors to party <laughs> and like talk shop and like talk about stuff that most other people don't give a crap about, right? So yeah. it was really like, and just sitting in the bar and then uh -huh. like your heroes come to you <laughs> and like want to talk shop and I'm here for it. Yeah. Um, well, it's I funny know. because I did not, I, I did not differentiate between like professionals only conferences, which is like the one I'm going to today, but also like there used to be a conference called Romantic Times, which was like a big fan conference. And so you had a lot of like programming for the writers, but you also had like a ton of fans there. And that was like so fascinating to see. I mean, so fascinating. It was like sort of the, fir the first time I ever went to that conference, like I really realized like what a massive following erotica author authors have because this one woman and I ended up sitting, our booths were, or our tables were next to each other for years. And, um, and she would have like this line, like around the block for all these books, you know, she's like one of those writers putting out, you know, 10 books a year. And like, she, people like knew every detail about her characters. And I just like, we all, all every one of us wants that fan base, like of people yeah. who are obsessed with your book. Yeah. So, yeah. Very <laughs> cool. Uh, so, uh, okay. So Heather says she'd been working on a spreadsheet back and forth. We are having a good productive day. Very nice. Walter did 325 words. I think writing conference would be interesting. Never been to one, but do they have them themed around self-help? Ooh, yes, they do. Although I have never been to one. I've mostly gone to like fiction conferences. So sometimes yeah. it's like a prose only where you'll go and you'll hear other people who are better at your job than you are tell how they do things. Yeah. Uh, some of them... I I yeah, just went through that this morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then and then some of them are like again for aspiring people and you people who want to be doing what you're doing and you're the person they want you that is farther along in your career. Or sometimes, sometimes they talk about really fun like topics in fiction writing yeah. that you don't consider. Like my favorite was economics and fiction where they start talking about like how like the economy and like you know, fantasy isn't like fully explored. And if you actually right. take a moment to like, see how that has ripple effects on your story, it like oh, makes like its own subplot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's really I, cool. Of course, like naturally they're like, I'm at that panel. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. All right, you guys, we need to do another writing sprint. Okay. Let, let's get rolling here. We got, we've got work to do. All right. Oh, it would be helpful if I would like rewind the thing. So, Carol, would you like to do our? Um, I knew it. I our... knew you were coming for me. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. Well, you're such a good pep talker. I feel like I went to you first last time, so I went to Doll first this time. Besides, but... my Wi-Fi is being a crap. So please. Uh, yeah. Well, you did. You did great right till the very end, and we just went like, okay, we're going. Like we know you're saying go. So, okay. all right, Carol. Please. All right. All right, we're on we're on sprint too, bitches, and I need you to freaking work. Like we're done we're done messing around. You had your warm up period in that moment where you're like, yeah, I think I'll work on this. We're doing the words. Look at this keyboard. It does things for you, not things that do to you. Okay, like cause CTS, like what I have. But anyway, moving on. We're gonna go ahead and spend this next 20 minutes working very productively, uh, one way or another. Whether that be like you, like drinking water, writing words, sorting your life out, you can go outside and find yourself too. I totally support this. But anyway. Lisa, I need you to start this time. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Sprint.
All right, everybody. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. So I'm going to do my progress first, and I'm going to explain why in a second. Okay. So um, I got 810 words, and then I stopped writing because Mr. Brown brought me tacos. So now I'm going to go back to muting and hiding myself. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, very, very nice. That is awesome. Sako, how'd you do? Um, pretty good. Still writing, and my husband is coming down to teach his class, so I'm probably going to like go into silent mode. Okay. Um, but uh, my notes are coming along. That's great. I know I'm definitely writing in the zone today. Tamara, how are you doing on this sprint? Um, pretty well. I was um, writing, but also daydreaming. So I think it was 246 words. <laughs> nice. Very nice job. Very good job. Excellent. Michelle, how'd you do? Another 500. Yay! Look at you. Yay, I, did not, I did not count, but I was in the zone. Although literally it took me like 45 seconds to think of the word prohibit. I was like, <laughs> like I knew it was a P word and I was like, yeah. prevent, prevent, yeah, yeah, you know how that goes. So, uh, so I'm sure you guys saw me like, like that, making that face. <laughs> Story D, how'd you do on the last one? I think I deleted more words than I added, but <laughs> like tomorrow I spent some time daydreaming on how I was going to fill in the gaps and move the plot forward. Well, staring out the window is still working. Mm -hmm. Doll, <laughs> how did you how did you do? After to this morning's amazing thing that just happened, I updated my patron page. And I'm nice. going to put a lot more things into it now. A lot of writing into Patreon. Uh, nice. YouTube videos is hard and it takes a lot more time. So if I want to give more, I got to do what I got to do best. And it's writing. And I put a poll on my Instagram asking if maybe, maybe I should go indie full for my sci-fi. Mm. So and it, I, can you share results so far when does the poll end oh i just put it up so uh -huh. people have to vote <laughs> i know all right we'll have to do that uh inquiring minds want to know you guys go over and vote on doll's poll uh so wendy has a question did i miss anybody amy what'd you work on or how'd you how did i we know what you worked on how'd your work it go uh, it's okay <laughs> They've left me to my own devices too much. And I'm like, well, I could say this, I could say that, I could say all of it. Uh -huh. So I'm still uh -huh. trying to sort out, like, you know, what's the point? She uh, did stuff and things. Stuff what? and things. What? She did stuff and things. What's yeah. the point? <laughs> Lena had to work through a plotting issue, so went back to my writing notebook to talk myself through it. Nice. A very good solution. Very good. MM Ward said needed to do some SM stuff, so making promo gifts for upcoming Halloween anthology I'm in. Nice. Very, very nice. All right. Cool. Uh, we just, had a... Oh, go ahead. I, have, I clearly have to up my motivational game because clearly none of you were motivated to write. So next time... Lisa, I'll give you like a legit one and not my okay. scatterbrain well, one, but not me, today. Okay, you got it. I'll I'll do the last one because I want to get one more sprint in before we go. Uh, can I ask a question that isn't writing related, but it's story related? Since that we've got crime writers and others <clears> in the chat, yes, feel free. We'll answer it when we get back. All right, let's do one more. Yay! Sprint, everybody. All right, here we go. Who's ready? Everybody, huh? <laughs> Don't everybody talk at once. Okay. So here is our big timer. We got 20 minutes coming on the timer. I am not nearly as good at giving pep talks as Doll and, and Carol are. So all I will tell you is we have 20 minutes left. We are going to make it count. And let's get started in three, two, one sprint.
Okay, that went by so fast, you guys. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, I have to figure out who I muted. I can't remember. Once again, I have no idea who I muted. Okay. All right, good. Woo, how did everybody do on that one? I did well. Yes? I've All right. I've been in the flow during this stream, so things are moving right along. Yay! <laughs> I am so glad to hear that. I know. I did, That went by like five minutes. I was like so in that it. That was so fast. It right? was. It Great. really was. Yeah. Yay! All right. Fantastic. Michelle, you're smiling. How did you do? Good. 400 words that time. Nice job. Yeah. Very nice job. All right. I didn't count, but I can look at my little Scrivener target. Let's see. What did I get today? All right. So for the day or for the stream, I got 1,052. So I'm actually very, very excited about that. Yay. All right. Anybody else want to share? Tamara, how did you do? Um, 336. Nice. Very, very nice. Great job. Claude got 281. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Um, ADHD brain took over this round. Yep, I got it. <laughs> Wendy got some food because she says, y'all made me hungry. I think we know who. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so Wendy had a good question I wanted to answer when we came back. And then we're going to have to hurry up and do our outros because we are like TikTok. Okay, so Wendy wanted to know. So, wait, hold on. They go in the foster okay. care system. A demon takes... Demon takes child in a haunted house. Mother finds child in the basement to save him. What are the legal implications for the mom? Obviously, it's going to look like she hid the kid. Oh, my gosh. Ginny Noble got 549 words. Well nice. I know. Very nice. Uh, why would they have the kid relocated to another family? So would they have the kid relocated to another family member while they figure out if the mom is guilty or not? So I can speak to that as somebody who worked in education. So if they can't find a local next of kin to send the kid to, they put them in temporary foster care until the judge comes to a decision. Um, I used to see this all the time with children that also were, had parents that were on and off parole a lot. Mm -hmm. So, but right. that's, that's my experience. If somebody else has a different take, um, go for it. That's, that feels like a, re that's, I mean, that's what I would make the assumption that they would try and, like put the the child with someone who is a relative uh and then you know and then do what they have to do after that so let's see we have a jl said she got 414 very nice we are super proud of you mint ghost said it went fast but i'm getting through light edits of most of what i needed to Yay. awesome very good wendy says that makes sense thank you very much to carol maybe Maybe they put her with an old granny like Agatha Harkness who's working in leagues with the demon. <laughs> well, I know like a maybe lot of people do. that... Maybe. Oh, sorry. Go on. No, that was it. I was just agreeing oh. with Agatha, Agatha Harkness. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of people um, who work in foster care, they usually have anywhere between like two and five kids with them because it's it's like... Like, if they can find somewhere to send the kids, they send them there. And right, right. Yeah. I, I only know one person who only did foster care for one, and that was just because um, she was talking to the case manager and said, like, I can't take more than this right now because I'm doing these things, and I'm still giving this kid, like, quality of life. Uh, so, right. no. Right. <laughs> CEO Savvy says, you need to write a nonfiction book, Jill of all trades, master of tacos. She's so knowledgeable. <laughs> that is true. That is definitely true. No. It's oh. one o'clock. I can't believe it already happened. All right, you guys, we are going to need to do our outros because people have. Because uh -oh. Wi-Fi has been again. messy. So, But we're going to have to do it. Yeah, it has. But let's go ahead and do our outros super duper quick because there are 47 of us and we don't want them to. Um, <laughs> we don't want everybody to have to stay around for the rest of their lives. Like, we'll be here till 2.30 doing our outros. <laughs> Dal, why don't you go ahead and go first? Thank you very much for inviting me. I am Dal Cecil Bruno, a blind storyteller. I write blind and visually impaired fictional, fictional characters to inspire you through their amazing lives or whatever. Uh, I'm on Instagram and Twitter as Dal Cecil Bruno. My Patreon has been updated. I'm going to be more serious about that. So, I'm gonna, and soon I'm coming back to YouTube. Thank you so much. See you Yay. soon.
All right. Thank you so much for being here today. JC says, pop it in to show some love and say hello and goodbye. Hello, JC. We are so glad to see you. Thank you very much, Jeannie, Marcella. Michelle. Hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> thank you for having me, Lisa. I'm Michelle. I'm a middle grand young adult author. My channel is Writing Workshops, Traditional Publishing Chat, and Writing Blogs. Yay, thank you. Tamara, I'm so glad you came today. Me too. I got a lot done. Uh, my name is Tamara Woods, and here's a couple of things that I'm doing. This Saturday is Writer's Workshop at 2 p.m. on my channel, where Ooh. we're going to be talking about Get Started in Writing Science Fiction and Fantasy, How to Write Compelling and Imaginative Sci-Fi and Fantasy Fiction by Adam Roberts. So, it's a long book title. It's a long book title, and the title is dull. I haven't read it yet. Hopefully, it's not terrible. So that's going to happen. I do stream on my channel every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. So you should stop by for some giggles and talks about food and writing things. Yay. Yeah. Link in the bio uh, for Tamara's channel. Amy, your turn. Hello, I am Amy Awesome Buddy. I'm an SEO consultant who spent the whole stream pretty much thinking about hashtags. So, yeah, thank you for the productivity. And um, thank you for having me. I look forward to next time. Oh, thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad. Robert, let's hear from you. I am the story detective. That's my channel. That's my life. I have done <laughs> <laughs> I've worked in the comic book industry, doing inking, sequential art, and now putting it into words and taking all those forms of storytelling and placing it under a Sherlockian microscope is what I do on my channel, breaking down the craft to give it to you and hopefully make your writing journey easier. Nice. Love that. Caro. Hi, my name is Kara Brown. I wrote those books over there. I have a channel that has no new videos on it, but I'll fix that. I am also a great lover of tacos, which I was just gifted another taco. So that's my outro because I need to eat this damn thing. All right. <laughs> I want to say thank you to JL. You are welcome for the answers to your questions. Can I just say you always have spectacularly good questions. And often we go, oh, what are we going to talk about today? And then whatever you ask is more interesting than what we were going to talk about anyway. So we're happy for your questions, JL. Bring them, bring them. Uh, I'm Lisa Daly. I am a writer of raw rom-coms and non-fiction and i'm going to a writers conference right after this so i hope you guys have an awesome week be sure to check out everybody's channels the links are below and we will see you next wednesday same time same place 11 a.m eastern okay. bye, bye. bye.